Hi everybody, this is Jake from Blackberry Theme Park and today I am going to go step by step on how to create a basic hidden dock. I'm not going to do any major customization to the theme, just basically show you how to make a functional hidden dock to go with your theme. So I've got a basic um, a beginning of a 9700 or 9630 tour theme here I've done I've done nothing to it and I am going to start a new composer file first thing I'm going to do is put in my dock just drop it in and place it where you're gonna want it Next, I'm going to add my icons, which I'm going to use device application order. Now, the way I do it is to make a single icon and then go ahead and add in my focus icon, and then I'm going to copy this icon so that I don't have to add the focus icon to every single one. Okay, now that I have that, I'm going to copy and make six icons so that I have a full bottom dock. Gonna go ahead and align those. Move them over just a bit so that they're sitting where I want them. You'll notice that if you go over here and check that the focus icon is there and shows up when you highlight it. So now something that's really important for doing a hidden dock and with the animation is the name of things. So for the code, I am going to rename my layer to buttons, and I'm going to make sure that my icons are all named properly so that when I put in the code for the animation that it actually correlates with the items in the SVG file. So now you've got your six buttons and your dock. This is pretty much all you need to do within Composer. So I'm going to save this. and then I'm going to export an SVG file. So now we're done with Composer. And we are going to edit the code. So you're going to go in and you're going to open the SVG file in a notepad. And a couple of things you'll notice right here is our first layer, and you'll see that it says buttons. Other than that, you're going to scroll all the way to the very bottom where you're going to find this these ending tags 
you want to put the cursor right here and you're going to hit enter four times. So now you're going to find your code which you'll notice a couple things again here. Buttons, which identifies the layer that you're giving the command to, and then the theme button. There's going to be two sections of code for each button, focus in and focus out. And we have six buttons, so we're going to highlight all this. And we're going to bring it in here and paste it. Now that's all you have to add to your file. Make sure when you go to save it you do save as and tell it all files otherwise it'll save it as a text file. So now that we've done that we're going to bring up our theme file and import it. and you'll see there's our file. Now I'm not going to do much customization to this file but I am going to just go ahead and change the wallpaper on the two main screens. And then the last thing you need to do is make sure that you fix your navigation. So I'm just going to tell it to auto create horizontal, reset, and then just change how it navigates to the profiles. So you'll see it'll be left to right navigation, except for on the first icon, it'll be up and down to the audio profiles. And that's all you have to do.